It's episode three. We're back. Hello, hello. Welcome back to Salt Spray Cove. We are on episode three. Oh my gosh, where's my mouse? We are on episode three. Oh, I just watered the ground. We are joining Nicoa as we embark into spring. So, full transparency, right at the get-go of the episode, I have not played for a, a long time. Like, almost, honestly, almost a month. Um, <laughs> um, so, there's gonna be, there's a lot of changes, and I did note those changes on my um spreadsheet my mods spreadsheet like i kind of bolded which ones i've added this episode uh i had to update like pretty much everything pretty much everything so it was a lot of updating um so i'll be talking through those as i go there, there's gonna be a lot of talking this episode which i think most of y'all are okay with that's why you watch um but yeah there's been like an overwhelming positive response um and like cool discussion on the series so far so thank you so much so one of the initial changes that you're probably noticing is that i added in cheats menu but but i only added in cheats menu so that i can pause time like i do in my other playthrough so if i want to talk or something so you can see i don't actually have like anything enabled um yeah nothing's enabled i accidentally when i loaded the game some things were enabled so basically my crops are going to be watered today, which is unfortunate, but, and like some of my, like, like my, do I have a pet yet? No. Um, but my crops are going to be watered today because it just, some of these were checked off from when I was testing things out. So that's unfortunate. We get a, a little bit of free energy today, but mm, that's okay. Uh, but yeah, mainly I have that so I can pause and unpause time when I'm talking and I don't feel pressured. So I've added in tons of mods and again, not tons of mods. I've actually only added in like maybe like six new ones they're all like more they're in like the convenience quality of life area and some of them are ones that are like my go-to's so one that i added which i am super excited about finally having again is um it was called furniture tweaks but it's called is it called furniture tweaks now no what is it called now it's called precise furniture now so what this mod lets you do is it lets you move your darn furniture so that it, it can look so much better oh my gosh like you can actually center things. I think if I hold left alt to move that, yeah, you can move it a bit quicker. Like, look at that. You can move that under the tape. I'm gonna move it here though. You can move it basically pixel by pixel, which this, oh my gosh, I'm so happy to have this back. This darn mod back. Can I, hello? <laughs> there we go, I'm like, I just wanna grab this. The nightstand. Um, so yeah, like I can do, oh, that looks fine there, actually. I can move things around, which is so exciting. I've been wanting to do this for so long. Okay. Anyways, now that I'm doing that, and it's, you can move like everything. Like if I didn't like where this poster was, sorry, let me pause time again. I can just move it up a few pixels so that it's a bit more centered. Move this over. Move these windows up so that they're not like on the, like look at that. Oh, I love it so much. I love it so much. I'm actually going to move this here, I think. Move this window over here. Come on either side of this. There we go. Sorry, now I'm immediately just distracted by things again. Okay, anyways. Um, yeah, I updated all of the wildflower mods. Ooh, Lee, crops. This feels, is, does this also feel kind of zoomed in? Is that just me? There we go. Um, I updated the wildflower mods because they got a huge overhaul. So I added in the cauldron thing, which I, I just noticed. I didn't see them on here at all. I was going to check them out. It's cauldron on here because I think you have to navigate it through cauldron. Um, oh, I don't see cauldron on here. Uh-oh. Am I blind? Does it go under a different name? Hmm, I'll have to look into that because, yeah, I'm going to want that. Oh, it's down here from the title screen. Okay, interesting. Um, so I haven't actually done a lot of, like, basically those are, I just also killed that letter, whatever that was. Whoops. Um, I haven't looked into the wildflower mods. They're all just out there, like generic um this still feels zoomed in is that just me like this still feels a little zoomed in um oh yeah and i updated those they're still just at their generic level so i've added in a few ui ones which i'm not sure how i feel about them um which are the bogs like i mean i think bogs mods are like a, a hot hot up and coming thing right now um and I've added, oh, I need my scythe for this. I've added in, I still feel like really zoomed in. Is this just me? Does it keep on like zooming back in on me? It does. Why does it zoom in? That's so weird. Cause like I'm fully out and I open my thing and then it zooms in, huh? Okay, one second. That's gonna bug me. I think it's um, zoom levels doing some weird thing. 
zoom or UI level. Zoom out to zoom or okay, no, 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 that's fine. The reset. That's max level, that's fine. Min level. Oh, camera movement speed, that's interesting. Preset zoom level. Yeah, see, these are fine. So I should just be able to hit like, but why is it like changing on me every time I go into a menu? Yeah, those are fine. I don't know why that's changing on me. Oh, it might be, um, shoot, which one was it? There was one that was like, it might be, uh, do, 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 the bubbles. Sorry, I tried to do this before I started recording so I didn't have to spend a whole bunch of time just in uh, menus. Where are they? Like the, the, the bubbles. I thought they were near the top. Um, yeah, no, I tried not to do this. I might just pause if this is taking too long. If it's taking me a little too long to figure out. I mean, you're getting a good scan of my, is it here? Uh, no. I don't know what it is. Okay, I'm going to pause one second. I'll be right back. Haha, I figured it out. It was the mod that I was, it was like, um, like some, some sort of, ah, shoot, I can't remember what it was. Some sort of bubble one, but let's zoom in a little bit. So that's far away. So now if I open my UI, I won't change zoom size. Okay, cool. Let's harvest. So yeah, I got Bog's, um, witchy tools and witchy weapons. Um, I tried to ooh, level up, level four farming, yay. Um, I wanted to get the forest UI and I, I, when I first loaded in, I had it, but it was like really dark. So I don't know how I felt about it. So I, I took it out cause it was just a little too dark for me, which I think will work really well if you're, um, am I storing these? Man, it's been so long since I played this. No. So this is all vanilla stuff. Okay. How many, um, I think I'm just selling this actually right now. Yeah. I think I'm just selling this right now. Okay, um, I think if you have like just like a darker game. Oh shoot, I remember which mod I was going to add to. I think I'm going to add in um, um, like the tree. The tree's looking different. There's one mod that I want to check. Or because like the Kusen hide. Oh, okay, so yeah, so this is that. So I think if we go to this might just freeze my game for a second. We can change this to be the vanilla waterfalls and it will change it to like the 1.6. Yes, it did. Yay, look at that, so pretty. I like the 1.6 waterfalls, so we're gonna keep that one. Okay, so throughout this episode, I'm gonna be commenting, or at least um, I'm gonna be responding to a lot of comments that some folks have been so lovely to leave. Um, one of them being so many of you commented on getting coconuts, because look at that, they sell for 25 each. Um, and there's probably so many that I was just running by and I think because I have, um, the tree tweaks that pretty much all of these are going to drop coconuts, which is a little broken, a little, little broken, but, uh, or it's like 75% or something. It's like quite high, but yeah, let me, let me pull up my, um, let me pull up my, my comments. So if you're just tuning in for this modded series, like this is the first series you're watching for me, I like to verbally respond to comments in my episodes and like chat with people a little bit too um it's kind of fun for me and i think most people um enjoy it too there's some people who are like i'm never gonna comment again um so i'm sorry i'm sorry if that's you and you feel like very like it, it causes some anxiety um that's that wasn't my intent um oh my gosh we're getting so many coconuts this is so broken i just did this for seeds but like a coconuts but yeah no i want to um I want to do a little shout out to the folks who mentioned this and I, I might miss a few. I'm sorry. Cause there's like an overwhelming amount of comments. Um, I'm just grabbing these so I can take them to peers to sell. <laughs> do I have exotic foraging? Oh, there's no coconuts in there anymore. Okay. Um, so do, 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 do. let's see. There's a few people. And I'm going to try and only talk about the comments for this series, so it might take me a little bit to navigate through them. Um, oh my gosh, there's so many. Doo -doo. Um, can't find them right now. That's okay. Ooh, Coral, hello, are you? We do need you for summer foraging. Oh, where is our summer foraging? How many do we need? 15. Okay, let's go put that in the chest and hang on to it then. 
I think that's good enough for coconuts. Ooh, a cockle. Probably will need that for crab pot. So let's grab it too. My gosh, the fast animations. I forgot about those. Drop, drop. Yay. Okay. Um. I wish I could filter this, like the comments by, um, like what series? You probably can, but I'm just not literate enough to know how to do that. Do, 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 do. Oh, it's, did I scroll too far? Man. Um, me just looking at my other monitor. Hello. Oh, my forage. Pelican mint. Oh, this looks new. Creeping daisy. Oh, yeah, and look up anything apparently got updated. Yeah, so now you can actually see what machines use it now, which is really exciting. This is from the forager mod. Oh, this looks so cool. Is this new? I think this might be new. Yeah. So we'll go ahead and ship one of those. Because I'm going to run out of chest space real quick here. Ah, here it is. Here's one. I found one. There's like two people, and I just wanted to make sure I could um, note them. So this is uh, Christy Lynn, I think is your name. Christy Lynn. Um, hello. Thank you for mentioning that we can shake trees for coconuts. Because look at that. That's 850 gold, which is crazy. I'm just going to sell these two. I know I should probably hang on to them, but we sold them. I'm going to ship that one. So now let's buy... I don't know. Let's buy some more. Ooh. Cool, pretty flowers. Um, there's just like an overwhelming amount of things to buy. <laughs> um, do, 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 do. Basil, harvest for seven. I was doing spinach, yeah, because it's two and harvest for eight. Let's just buy 50. Can I buy this? No, we're so close. But yeah, Christy Lynn. I think I'm saying your name is Christy Lynn, maybe. Um, Hukalo, Hukalo mentioned getting coconuts from trees so thank you so much and you live in western canada as well but you were commenting on my rapid axers so <laughs> um uh luke's mentioning how onions like don't spawn ever which is yeah kind of frustrating but here we are uh i think i got some i don't know did i need them for something else maybe the spring foraging hey any 10 so we'll go take a peek down there um after i plant some of these did i get enough i don't even know how many i needed here i don't even know if i wanted to plant these but we're planting them yeah the bogs oh shoot i didn't get enough one two three four five one two three four five six seven eight seven more e <laughs> okay and here's another oh right i had your name pulled up it's like Ra ragna gronstad i'm so sorry um if i pronounce that wrong but yeah ragna also mentioned that too ragna maybe ragna um that there's coconuts in the trees in the beach so thank you to you too uh, that's really who i was looking for um <laughs> to to make a call out because i was like oh my gosh i didn't even think about that so I appreciate you all so much for, how much did I say, seven? I'll just buy ten, just in case. Didn't even think about that. Um, yeah, no, overwhelming positive feedback on it. Um, we have, <laughs> I know this isn't your name, so I have to pull up the, oh my gosh, why is it when I right-click things move? Um, so the name is, it's Shan, S-H-A-N, but then your YouTube handle is Stinky Minky. So if that <laughs> helps figure out who I'm talking about. Um, they said, I'm really enjoying your series so far, so much that I've decided to create my own modded run with almost all the mods that you have installed for this playthrough. I am very much enjoying playing and watching you at the same time. Um, your playstyle is perfect for side-by-side -side gaming. Yay, that's awesome. Oh, I can count. It was five. Um, also, never did find the video where you're explaining how to split a stack. I must have watched it, just not being... Oh, yeah, okay, so I'm going to say that right now for you. You have it over top of this. I'm holding down left shift, and then I right click, and it splits it in half. Left shift, right click. That's not a good example, because it was just one. I can grab some, like, wood or something to explain that. 
Um, where do I want to put these? Where do I want to put seeds? Put them in here. Put them in here. The chest's open so fast. So let's grab my sap. So if I hold left shift and then right click, it splits it in half. Left shift, right click, splits it in half. Left shift, right click, splits it in half. That's all that that is. Um, okay, what did I say I was going to go do? Look for green onions. Did I fix that in minecart? Like, this is how long it's been. I don't even remember what minecarts I fixed. And I did watch the episode that released almost a week ago now. Backwoods, where does this forest one take me? Oh, nice, it is this one. Okay. I feel like there's more debris here than I was expecting. Um... <laughs> Hi, Haley. Yeah, there was just like so many. Like I had to update like 60 mods. It was a lot. And there's like mods where like, oh shoot, I probably shouldn't have sold that down. Or the daffodil. Oh, it's salmon berry day or season. There's also no. <laughs> this is actually awesome with salmon berries. Maybe you should run around and grab some. That's what we're going to do. Um, I don't remember what I was talking about. What's new? Yeah, wow, there's like no spring onions. And I, I know they spawn kind of other places, but... Oh, shoot, there's also... Hmm, so I added in Forger's Nooks. I think I might have ran by a spot. It's like a Wildflowers mod. And I don't know if I'm going to keep it, because I think it's a little too... Wait, where is the Mastery Cave? Oh, it's over there. Um, I think it's a little too OP. I thought there was one up here. I don't even know where they are or how you unlock them. That's actually kind of cool. I thought there was one up here. Um, because I know there's one nook, quote unquote nook. That and what's what's my build key again? You need magic ink to open the wizards. Oh, there it is. Okay, it's that key. Okay. Um, yeah, there's one nook that will be like very broken i would say i don't know how to like explain it oh we need these for spring foraging how many do we need 30 okay yeah we're gonna spend some time running around again if we don't finish it we don't finish it there's always more years <laughs> i just like the one of the main reasons i'm like i want to finish one bundle so that we can at least unlock a few other rooms there are these salmon berries all right and then, yeah, we'll need some for healing because, like, our poor mind's progress is going to be um, quite halted. I should get my hoe because I think we'll get some, like, red onions and things. If we go into the backwoods. So another mod that I added was, I don't know if it'll show up on here. It's continuous music. No, it won't show up on here. And I'm actually loving it because there's just music playing all the darn time. Which has been like such a big, like, is this a spot? No. It's been a bit like such a big, like, sore spot for me where I'm like, I don't like it when it just gets quiet. So basically, like, the mod is saying that it, and it's on the, the it's on the spreadsheet, um, the name of it at least, but you can also just search continuous music on Nexus. Um, it always bugs me when it just gets, like, super quiet and, like, nothing plays. A bream frenzy. Also, there's so much debris. I feel like debris respawned when I um, updated this mod because the, the farm type itself updated for like the waterfalls and such, but that's okay. Um, okay, let's put you in there. Do I have you? No, not yet. Okay, and then I wanted to grab my hoe. Yeah, this feels so funny. This music playing at 730, but I'm kind of okay with it. And let's just take this up to the top. Yeah, it feels really weird this music playing at 7.30, but it's just like having a jukebox kind of backwards. Right, and that's my fishing spot. Mm -hmm. And let's see what we got up here. Some more f -f forage. Oh, and the music does stop at 8. Okay. It's so dark and I don't have anything to light it up yet. Eee. So those of you who are kind of tuning in to a few of my series, I I think I'm also going to record one of my vanilla, my Aspen Farm series today as well. It's been quite some time since I've released one of that, and I'm not done with that series by no means. Um, so I might do that one because, again, we still have some projects on that one too. So I hope that's exciting. This will, I'm going to like record this and then essentially upload it and post it right away. 
So that's kind of cool that like, if you watch this day of, like I recorded it that same day. If you're watching this way down the road, then this means nothing to you. So that's fine. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. Like I, I needed a little break from Stardew. I was playing some other games too. So it was fun. Cause I, I crushed out that vanilla series so fast, like overplayed. It was playing like eight hours a day, which is awesome, but, um, overplayed it a little bit. So I took a little break and now we're back. Now we're back. That was like not a lot of berries. I thought I would have gotten a lot more berries. Oh, cutscene. It's a vanilla cutscene, so I'm going to skip it. Um, that's just Linus picking in the garbage can and George not liking it. And then Gus being a great pal. Love, Gus. All right, it looks like we're going to... How do I have 23? Did I miss picking up one? I must have missed picking up one from somewhere. Yeah, I think I'll continue to sell these wormwood juice pickles okay so wormwood doesn't really do a whole lot which is interesting what are you from it's from the forger one okay it's so dark i think i'm just gonna go to bed give someone a gift why am i getting that right now that's funny yeah i didn't plant anything there but that's okay and we are gonna have to water tomorrow because again I, i'd had a little oops on that um am i was i keeping do I want to make a wildflower chest? I might make a wildflower chest. How much wood do I have? Oh, I have enough to make a chest. Okay. Yeah, we'll make a we'll make a wildflower chest. Uh, where do I want to tuck it? Let's play here for now. I think I'm gonna figure out how we want to organize things after a little bit. And I should grab my watering can because we'll need this. Yeah. And let's just go to bed. I know it's 10:40, but we're just gonna go to bed. Whoa! Oh yeah! Level four foraging. We got watering can proficiency, hoe proficiency. There's music playing on the selling screen. So interesting. Preserve stars, basic retaining soil, jade moondrop bush. What is this? We're gonna have to check that out. And then iron egg fusion chamber and quartz egg fusion chamber. So this is for resource chickens, which I'm so excited to like start to produce. That was a lot of things from that one level up. Holy. That's exciting. <laughs> okay, and 15 gold for that. Oh, and then the music stops, okay. <laughs> Let me close some of these things. Um, we'll go do our daily coconuts, which is, again, it feels a little cheaty, but it's fine. It's one of the perks of having this farm type. <laughs> and I was gonna rain tomorrow tomorrow that's exciting hey hello a letter hello got some new items to the lush lush deluxe fishing pole yay oh hope you're feeling settled near no home right to let you know the pure store is now selling fertilizers thanks pierre um okay so let's let's grab some of these crop roos Ooh, a leak there that's awesome um uh, get this get this leak holy so many things do, do, do. Do, do. And let's water. Can't see these strawberries. Oh, do I only have eight? Okay. Is it ready in two days? Speedy cauliflower. And again, we're probably just going to hang on to them because I don't know how many we'll need for the spring crops bundle i'm assuming a decent amount like it'll probably be something that we don't really complete until a year or two i think i'm gonna want to like we'll go do some more salmon berries i know i didn't reset the day that's fine um to get like the increased spawn um but we'll go do a quick little look for the onions and then i want to i want to push down into the mines a little bit more just so we can spend you know less time watering and more time sprinklering that's kind of one of the trade-offs, even though I know this is going to be more of a relaxed approach. Um, I don't want to spend all my time watering all the time. <laughs> all the time, 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 time. You go at 10 and then 20. Okay, so 20 more, but I have five in there, so 15 more spinach seeds. We can do that. <laughs> oh, there's more rice over there. 
wonder if unmilled rice is going to be probably in the spring crops. I would expect it to be. And I'm just going to water these because we're going to replant. The spinach is really good for farming EXP. Do I have level forever on this playthrough? I do. Okay, that's awesome. So level forever is a mod, which I'm sure some of you have read it. It lets you level up to like level 100. I don't know. It always bugged me how you like hit level 10. I mean, the mastery change in 1.6 has been awesome, but it always bothered me and like bummed me out when it's like you hit level 10 and then you're just done. And so you hit level 10 so early. I was like, I want to, I want to keep getting EXP. <laughs> I want to keep having fun. Uh, so I don't need you. I can put away some things in here. Um, I'm going to make another chest for crops, I think. I don't know if I was saving this wood for anything, but... Yep, here we are. Okay, so wildflower, we're going to make pink. And then I'm going to put this one down, and this will be our spring crop, so it'll be green. And we'll just store all... Ah, I'm going to sell the spinach. Yeah, we'll store those, though, because I'm assuming those are going to be for the community center bundles. Do -do 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 -do. Um, so then, ooh, I have another comment. Let me just pull it up to make sure I'm saying your name correctly. There we go. So there's a comment from Michaela Gray. Hello, Michaela Gray. Um, so nice to hear from you commenting on episode two of the series. They say, I've been binging your artisan series and let me say that you have a unique play style and I love your accent. Um... Is this a expanded one? I don't know if this is an expanded one. It might be. Yeah, because this is more. So I think that's, I don't know if that's an expanded one or not, but we skipped it. Um, that's funny. I always think that, you know, I'm like, you, you don't think you have an accent because it's you talking from where you're from and the people that you're from usually have a similar way of talking, but that's kind of awesome. <laughs> um, yeah, I guess a Western, Western Canada accent. Um, I need spinach seeds. There we go. Um, then they go to say, sending good vibes from Ohio. Thanks for sending good vibes from Ohio. Nice to have you pop by. Nice to have you tuning in for the series. Yeah, I'm assuming you're watching my Mistral series, my, that expanded series there. I really wish I could have continued that one, but with Artisan Valley kind of just like dying with the 1.6 update, like it just, it would have been weird for that to be like removed and then adding in Cornucopia, which doesn't have all the machines and everything, so... Yeah, that's why we're just re redoing things. And there's like a lot of new great mods and that, that series was already like a year in. So it would have it felt a bit disjointed doing like a really big change and overhaul on things. Okay, y'all got to help me out. Like there has to be a, a way to get a few more spring onions and the amount I'm getting. <laughs> Do these get used for anything? Probably. Whoa. What the heck is going on here? Something exploded with this item. Okay, it's fine. I know I was reading in, um, I think it was like the Rafidax Discord, because they're doing all sorts of testing and trying to get it ready for 1.6 that like, I think it was Kara actually, that um, the, the look up anything is kind of broken right now still. So um, I'm expecting it to be updated a little bit here and there. Okay, let's plant these. Oh, I have 31. Yay. So now anything, any um, salmon berries we get are going to be for healing. Plant these and then we can go to, oh my gosh, I don't know how to count. Oh wait, it's because I had five in the chest, right? Never mind, we're fine. <laughs> I actually love this Faust. I love how this Faust, um, I love how like just overgrown it is. It's so wonderful. I wish you could paint it. That's my, that'd be my one request is to paint it because I'd want it to be more green. I don't mind the purple, but like, you know, I'm a, I'm a green guy. I like me some green. Okay, let's run around and grab some coconuts. I'm not going to spend forever doing this, but getting a backpack upgrade would be quite nice, especially going into Mines Land. Also, it looks like there's some coconut trees that are spreading. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. How much does it cost for the first tool upgrade? Is it 2,000 or 5,000? I think it's 5,000. It's 2,000 for like the garbage can. Because yeah, I want to be able to upgrade the axe and the pickaxe at least once. 
I don't think by the end of spring. I don't think that's going to happen with our profit margin. But... Did I shake you? I think I did. Yeah, I feel really bad that, like, my episode uploads has, like, really um, slowed. Because all that's coming out right now is, like, my daily Raffidax, which I know is not not the most viewed stuff on my channel. And it's, like, 1.5 and it's old. And it's, it's like, one day at a time episodes where I know, I know people prefer the longer episodes. Um... But it's, I want to just, I want to get all of those episodes out, if that makes sense. So by the time I revisit that Raffidax series, once everything's ready to go, then I can start to change things. Because when I revisit the Raffidax series, I think I'll start doing weekly episodes for that one as well. And there's going to be a lot of changes, because I kind of do tune into almost every episode that's being released, just to be like, what did I do again? And I th think today it's going to release, um, which is going to make no sense for people who are watching this in the future. Um, it's releasing the 28th of summer today, so there's only one more season. There's only going to be 29 more episodes of that, because I stopped recording at the end of fall um, to prepare for 1.6. And then, yeah, and then those those daily releases will kind of halt. Um, until until Raffidax is finished being updated, and they're the, there's like a team of people working on it, and they're doing great progress. They're, they're rock stars working on that. Um, the exciting thing that I saw on Nexus recently is that, um, Dalian, Dal Dalian, I don't know, has, uh, um, released the preliminary version of Margo 1.6, which is like the walk of life, which is like the professions overhaul. There's no spring onions again. It's doomed. It's so doomed. Um, which is really exciting because I was like, Margo is like such another big portion of that playthrough. So that was really cool to see that those professions are being added. I'm not going to add it to this playthrough. We're kind of just settled on having all professions and then leveling them up to snot. Um, <laughs> that's kind of going to be the style of this playthrough is it's going to be like a let's go big. Hi, Andy. Not fair. Uh, not fair to the kids, Farmer. You and the others during that their egg hun hunting spree. Sorry. Bye. <laughs> Grumpy Andy before he gets to know us and we get to know him. Um, yeah, no, I'm not gonna add it here because I like how this, like, this save is just gonna get, like, bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger, um, which I'm very excited for. Um, we're gonna have a lot of fun. And again, I'm not gonna rush perfection, so we'll, we'll be playing for a while. I still don't know where these foraging areas are. I'm probably just, like, gonna, I know I, I know I enabled them. What are they called? Foraging nooks? They're not even appearing on here. I'm pretty sure I did. Let me just, I'm pausing the game because I'm going on to my star drop. Sorry, you can probably see my, oh my gosh, it's getting mad at me. Nook. Yeah, forger's nooks and, cr and crannies. Yeah, there's no, um, like, conf config for it. I don't know. I know the whole point. Oops. Oh my gosh. My time is paused. Sorry. Um, I know the whole point of it is to like kind of just like discover the spaces. And I remember there used to be like a older, like a 1.5 version that was similar to it. Um, and they were like little like hidden, like almost like fairy mushroom circle kind of looking things. But I didn't look too much into the mod because I didn't want to just like know everything you know i wanted it, like the whole point of it is to like explore hi jazz what giggle um i'm turning if it's a jazz today they're a handful it's nice to make a difference in someone's life nice um i think if i press on them now it'll show like a million yeah you want likes gifts 999 sweet should probably go forge at the beach too if we need all those like corals and Elliot, no! Yay. Um, a, a great idea can pass through your head when you least expect it. But if your mind is too busy, you might miss it. Oh, I haven't fixed that bridge yet. Okay. Hello. Misty Dragon's Scale. Cool. It is a magical item from Wildflowers Atelier Goods Forager. Um, I, oh, wait. I think this is broken. I, I think everything will say that you can make juice. 
and like jelly from it right now. I don't think that's the case. I think that's just a look up anything being a little broken. Correct me if I'm wrong. And again, probably by the time you're watching this, if you're watching it not like on during around when it's released, like it'll probably be fixed. So I wouldn't worry too much about it. I'm not worrying about it. Um, many of you know that I don't worry about a lot of things. <laughs> so um, I try to do that. I think that's a good life philosophy is just to like let 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 things go, right? Especially if they're not really within your control. Um, it's very challenging though, because especially with present day society, we're encouraged not to let things go. So I also have two more inventory slots. Scary. Um, Robin. Hi, Robin. Hey, if you need materials or blueprints, my shop is the place. Is my shop is the place you you can look for. I, blah, I just fumbled through that. That's okay. Hello. One more inventory spot. Oh, and it's gonna be you. It's gonna be me. Sorry, Avalon. Do you tell us you can do anything? Scented mead. All oh, right, because I added in the um. I don't know how I feel. It was kind of confusing, which. Um, I added in like the perfumes. Oh, there was the one that I missed. I added in um, Wildflowers like perfumes mod or whatever. But that one was kind of saying, and it wouldn't have been that because I remember what items it was for. Um, but the perfumes mod was kind of saying that you needed no. Okay, I'm going to ditch this because I think a leak is more important than that. Um, the perfumes mod was saying you needed VMV. Visit, visit Mount Vapius. I don't think you need it though, Vapius. I think it's just like it has compatibility with that. So, um, yeah, but it was like, we you know, when you click on the download and it's like, you know, like mod requirements, um, like the co-requisites or whatever. Um, it was saying that one and I was like, oh, but then I did some reading into the mod and I think it's okay that we don't have it. I don't know. Maybe it's not. Maybe this mod just won't work. Let me know if you know. But yeah. That's for, um, yeah, Wildflowers Perfume Mod. Oh my gosh, there's so much forge up here. Okay, that's okay. It'll still be here tomorrow, maybe. 60 um, salmon berries, which is great. I might go and turn in these salmon berries to the community center just because I don't want to, like, auto-stack them all the time. Uh, no, and... You and you, and you and you, Wormwood. That sounds so cool. That'd be a really cool farm name, Wormwood. I think if I did more of like a, a magical playthrough, if I did, when I do, let's be real. I'm not going to stop anytime soon. Uh, where do I want to put you? You're kind of awkward and don't. I can pull these out now because I have a crops. Oh. I have a crops chest for these now. If I do, or when I do in my magical playthrough. Oh, I actually have enough. I didn't realize I got a bunch. Never mind, we're okay. When I do a magical playthrough, we will, um... Wormwood would be a cool name. That would be a cool name for a mod. And let's just ship these coconuts, because this will be a good 825 gold. Which means we'll be able to get the backpack upgrade. That's exciting. Okay, 10, 10... Let's cut down a couple trees with our remaining energy, and we might we might go into um uh huh. Why did that tree cut down so fast? Something's wrong. Oh, never mind. I think it's it's because I like partially cut it down a, a past episode. That's probably what happened. I was like, no, did I forget to turn off a cheat menu thing? <laughs> I don't need to cut down the stumps. I don't need to cut down the stumps. But yeah, we'll get some wood to go and replace the um, the bridge in the mines as well. Or geez, on the beach. What the heck in the mines on the beach? Um, okay, let's get. Let's see. It's eleven ten, so we're kind of running out of time. But I'd like to cut down at least a couple more things. I don't even know where that. No, I don't think we'll be able to because this is like really far away and it's really dark. It's so dark. What is this? Oh, that's copper. Can I get this? Do I have enough energy? I do. Nice. It's clay. We'll take the clay. How 
how do you do this without no i don't want to do that i want to you run around this way yeah get a little bit of energy yeah i like this farm cave there's a few other farm caves that are like a lot more like pretty <laughs> but i mean i just wanted something like a little bit bigger than the vanilla farm cave um this this minecart's gonna be awesome when we unlock the minecarts hello i wonder if that fills your watering can and let's just chop a tree i don't know this bridge looks really cool. I think that's like a, an like a new texture bridge. Huh? Is that a? Why does that look weird? I need to see that in the daytime. That looks like it's like on a cliff. Why do I feel like that's that's an oops? That looks like an oops. Go. There we go. That's all we're going to cut down because that's all we have energy for. That would be a good one to fix too. Ah, no, we have the, the bus stop one. Never mind. Okay, and then let's switch our tools for our watering can. Right, we have this thing that can fill water as well. I need to remember that. I need to remember that. Wow. And let's go to bed. Did I ship anything today? I did. Coconuts. Oh, I'm stretching. I'm sorry. That was a good stretch. Ah, stretching and sitting up. Okay, so it's Wednesday, so we can't buy a backpack, which is fine. <laughs> do, 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 do. Game already takes so long to load in between. Yikes. It's a lot of data. It's only going to get longer. So I make it to the point where I just pause it. Oh yeah, it was raining. Oh, and it's going to rain again the next day. That's awesome. That saves us so much time. Okay, so let's grab you and the hoe then. And we're going to go immediately because everything is yeah doing this thing. Another leak. What do I need for 15, 15, 15, 15, 30, and 10? Do I have enough of all of that? Can I go and complete the spring, the spring foraging bundle today? Nine, four, oh, we have enough. 18, 20, we have enough. 10. It's 13, 14, oh, nine. I think we just got enough leaks, hey? And then what else was it again? I think that's everything, right? Leeks, salmon berries, dandelions. Spring, geez, I say leeks, spring onions, leeks. Yeah, okay, and then horseradish. Yeah, let's go and complete this because then we can unlock the um the pantry. So we kind of have an idea of at least what's going on with um. Ooh, hello, you also look new. A moon maiden, that's so cool. Dried flowers and a bouquet at the flower station. That looks so pretty. And it just makes perfume. This looks so pretty, this flower. I wonder if we can grow it. Probably not, because it's just a forage. Sorry, I also saw the salmon berries. <laughs> Man, I wish Piers was open today so we could upgrade our backpack. Uh, I can't get that petite lemon yet. Oh, I could, but I'm gonna keep the I'm gonna keep the inventory space for right now. Um, one second. All right. Any berry bushes? Yeah, I was not expecting... Sorry, I'm going to zoom out one more. Um, I was not expecting to finish a bundle, but that's okay. I mean, it's not, again, not pressured. I just, I want to do it so that we can unlock all the community center. That'd be nice. Goodbye, all of our leaks, but yay. One bundle complete. And we get like, ooh, 30 basic fertilizer, not, okay. And then, does this just unlock one room or does it unlock two? I think it unlocks a fish tank too, doesn't it? Nope, oh, yes. <laughs> Me completing the community center how many times? Doesn't remember. Mm -hmm. 
Let's see, what do we have here? Oh, spring crops is blue. Is that normal? Is it always blue? Whoa, we need so many things. I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> okay, so we're not completing it this year. Um, one, because there's garlic, so we can't even get access to garlic, um, which is cool. I know the challenging community centers does that intentionally. The artisan bundle, holy, you need 10 of these fruits and 20 juice, pickles, and jelly. Quality crops. Whoa! Artichoke, is that a year two crop? I think that's a year two crop. This is so awesome. Oh my gosh, you need so much gold. Holy. This is going to be fun. Yeah, and look, there's like red cabbage in here too. Um, so we'll pick away at that. We'll pick away at that. But yeah, like you can see, like we need to grow a lot of things. This is going to be the bane of my existence though. Because if you can see, these are all gold star. Especially fish are not. Thankfully, three ice pips. No, rip. Three scorpion carps. Rip. Um, there's a lot of... Like the spook fish is kind of scary. Because that's like um, a night market one. Crab pot, you need a million of everything. You need a million of these. Yeah, you can see that's going to take a while. Oh, and the night fish are just regular quality. Interesting. Ten squid. Good thing there's a squid festival now. Yep, we'll do that eventually. <laughs> Again, that's why I have the fishing mod on, because I didn't want to, like, be stressed about fishing. Did I... I feel like... Oh, I did grab those two. Okay. Yeah, we're going to hang on to these salmon berries now because they're healing items. So we're going to loop back around north because I don't need to go get spring onions anymore. At least not for a while. Because um, I mainly wanted them for the bundle. Hello, there we go. I think you're a cornucopia item, right? Peppercorn? Yes. Okay. I really hope that cornucopia... Um, get some machines. That'd be really awesome. That'd be really awesome if they got some machines going. Like a little froggy. Maybe I'll have to look if that Nooks mod works with, um, like, expanded. Stardew Valley expanded. I don't actually know. Nooks. Just gonna read. Oh, what was that? My mappy like lit up. Never mind. It's fine. Um. Oh, never. I see. Ooh, interesting. So never mind. Sorry, I just took a little bit. Hello. I found one. I found one. This is cute. Oh, it has all of the like the the green tree, the green rain trees here. Okay. Oh, there's berry bushes in here. Can I build in here? <laughs> I can build in here. Oh, that scared me. Um, I found one. Oh my gosh, there's a mahogany tree in here. There's mahogany trees. I can get hardwood. See, that's why I'm like it. it kind of like tampers with the balance a little bit but like also ooh, look at this mushroom ring here this is so cute oh my gosh there's mystic trees i wonder if i could tap these or if they like like they, they resets like a mine i don't know um i thought there'd be more forage in here honestly but it's like i guess it's a um an area to just get wood oh here's some forage never mind what are you Hardy rosemary. Look at this, like this little like mushroom ring. Can I sit in this? <gasps> That's so cute. A moon. This area is really cool. Oh, can I? I wonder if I can chop that. I don't have my axe on me. Yeah, shoot. What is that? Um, there's like the tree that changes how the trees look that I want to try out. I've never used it before. This is a really cute area. This is a really cute area. Okay, so I just look for things that don't recognize that aren't normally there. Um, yeah, because I, I just clicked on the mod page, ironically. Um, and it looks like it's like locked behind friendship. And it says like a skill slash 
friendship. So it's like maybe you have to meet the conditions of one or or I don't know, maybe it's both. I don't know. But at least now we can we know that like just look for like a random object that doesn't make sense that it's there, like a stump. That seems very out of place. Hey? Now that I kinda know what to look for. I was not expecting this many berry bushes on like the farm as well. This is cool. <gasps> look at this cute little snail. I need to come back for that snail because we need that for crab pot. Just need to clean up my inventory a little bit. Yeah, and then I want to go check out that stump as well because I'm curious. You and you and you and you, even though you're cornucopia, but that's okay. Leak. I'm going to put this in here. I'm going to bring my axe with me, I think. Yeah. Okay, let's go check out that stump. Ah, let's go get the snail and then check out the stump. Where was it? Backwards. Thank you. I'm just going to put it in here, I think. Oh, I have so many fish in there that I could sell. And let's go and check out that stump that seems a little bit peculiar. Ooh, let's grab you. Now that we can. Yeah, the stump seems a little, like, suspicious. Haha! -ha. Oh! Wait, can I? <gasps> what is this? This is he This is so cool. What are you? Are you not going to tell me what you are? The giant crops. There's... Ooh, this is so cute, this area. What the heck? Oh, can I... What? Can I plant here? Oh. Well, I mean, I can plant anywhere, but... <laughs> This is cool how it's like a cute little like, oh, this area looks so cute. Is this like a walkthrough trellis or a, oh, it is. I like this area. I like the random jazz as well. Oh, that leveled up our, was that our farming? It was our foraging. Nice. Oh, the double. Right. I like this area and I like how it has like a few little like plots here. It's cute. Is that like a giant blackberry? Okay, I'm going to chop it down just because I'm super curious. And I also want to see if they come back. Oh, never mind. It leaves little heart stones. Oh, there's a building up here. There's a tulip. Hello. I can ship these. Even though I know. If oh, I need them for some crops. Can I go in? No, you're just a. Uh, okay. What about over here? Like what? This is so cute. This whole area. It's like a little mini. Um, like abandoned. I think that's what it's called. It's called the abandoned farmhouse. So now the question is, do I, does the sign say anything? Do I get this? I think I will. Very out of season, but I'm also, can I, <gasps> wait, these are trees. Oh, I didn't know that's what... Those are trees? That's so cool. Did I accidentally shake something that I can't get? I wasn't expecting those to be trees. That's a cool area. I like that. And we got a bunch of new stuff. Primrose Quartz. Pretty. Yeah, there's a lot locked behind like foraging and farming levels. Okay, so I'm going to put... Meadow. Yep, yep. And I'm going to put these summer crops. How many melons do we need for the summer crops? 20. We have 15. Okay, I'm going to hang on to those. I'm going to hang on to those too. Why not? And let's go south. Let's take the... Ah, let's grab some coconuts. Sorry. Indecisive. Yeah, okay. I need to stop looking at this page. I don't want to spoil myself anymore. <laughs> we'll just find them when we find them. We will find them when we find them. Let's get this rice, because I think it is nice. Waterproof items. <laughs> yeah, we'll get the backpack upgrade tomorrow, and then we'll go to the mines tomorrow, unless it's like a really horrible luck day. So I'm assuming, I, I can't remember, but I'm assuming we got to level 20, because I have copper, but we probably haven't pushed past level 20.
which is okay. Okay, I'm not going to do those ones up there. This is going to be a quick little runabout. Runaroo. Grab that oyster. Oh my gosh. And glasses and the beach forge is everywhere. Oh, I'm going to grab those out. Oh, does this tell me I know I don't need them for anything? Never mind. This looks like it should be something, but I know it's not. Okay, and then we're going to go do a loop in Cinder's Half. Grab some last bouts of salmon berries. Maybe, maybe at least like one spring onion. I don't know. We'll see. And yeah, we're going to do some mine stuff today. What's my fishing level? Two. Could do some more fishing to try and level that up. Because then we could start to sell some fish. <laughs> these bushes have something on them? They do! I was like, these bushes look different. Lapis Moondrop. Pretty. Wait, how much do you heal for? 45 and 20. 25 and... Oh, these heal for a lot more. Oh, oh, they sell for 10 each as well. Wow. Holy. Yeah, it's like there's like these bushes that just look really pretty. So much to forage. Oh, we got one extra from our high-leveled skill. That's awesome. So that's probably like blocking out our salmon berry stuff but that's okay how much experience did that give me i wasn't paying attention 51 shoot how many of those whoa spring onions how many of those did i run by i probably ran by a lot of those hello what are you a fairy puffball cool scented mead popsicle no translation, a flavored boba. Oh, can make a boba station? That's so cool. It's getting dark. Oh, and it's, oh my gosh, I didn't realize it was that day. Yay. And we got the leprechaun hat, which is broken because um, I'm using a, a hats mod. So it doesn't like vanilla hats for some reason. It doesn't like vanilla hats that it hasn't modded itself, I should say. I wonder if there's going to be more of those bushes. Why were they only over there? Is that like a big hint to me? Oh no, here's some right here. 2 XP from that. Okay, so yeah, it's the same same amount of VXP. Ah, oh, they're so pretty. I want to like see what they look like in the daytime now that I know what to look for. I wonder if these are... Because I know a lot of the wildflower mods, like the bushes especially, they're like... They're only for certain times, I think, within a season, just like salmon berries. So that'd be really cool. Oops, that's not where I wanted to go. Bust stop. And we're just going to... Ah, we can chop down some trees. We got a lot of energy. Let's just put some of this stuff away. All these fun wildflower gifts. Um, I have rice. Spring onions. And the coconuts. Nice. Yeah, let's chop down some more trees. Oh yeah, I can make some field snacks if I wanted. I think I planted some trees to grow. Um, You'll notice on my mod pack, like the spreadsheet that is really horribly formatted, I know. I'm not really doing it for aesthetics. Ironic being me. Um, that added in fruit tree tweaks the only reason i added it in was because i mean um anything anywhere really lets me plant them anywhere and like that kind of negates that side of things but i wanted to have the fruit tree tweaks so that i could change it so they get like 10 oh i wanted to hit the tree so they could get like 10 fruit on them so basically i don't have to like baby the trees every three days i can kind of let them be for a little bit longer i'm stuck on things i just want to go down and it's really hard because it's dark yeah, so I'm like, if I can check on them every 10 days, that'd be awesome. 
and, I, and it's still set to just getting like one fruit a day like i didn't even change that setting literally it's just so that i can change this as i get more i could even change it to 28 so that it's like i only have to harvest them once a season if they're um planted inside i don't know it's got really like, green is that just me everything is like has like this weird green tint to it all right let's go to bed can i center this Oh, that's going to bug me. Can I put it down a little? Oh, no, I'm moving other rugs. And now it's like more like in front of the couch. Oh, I'm moving the bed. I didn't want to move the bed. I just want to move. Oh, because I'm using arrow keys. That's why. There, let's go to sleep. Let's go buy a backpack. Yay. Okay, so this doesn't matter which one I choose because, again, I have all professions. So we actually get both. Which is actually kind of nice that I... um. Oh, man, this Boggs Moongate obelisk looks so cool. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do have to do another like, like warlock playthrough, I guess. I don't know which playthrough. Hermit playthrough. There's many different things you could do. A ghoulie playthrough. Um, it's cool because I have this, so I can show you that we should. Yeah, it it enables both of them for us with all professions. Oh, it's gonna rain tomorrow too. That's awesome. Okay, so there's 15 there. We got level 5 farming. Yay. Wait, how many did we need for spring crops? Again, I'm going to have to do this next year anyway, so I'm not too worried about it. 20. Okay, so that'll be good to know for summertime, though, that we can kind of... Oh, we need 40 parsnips. Jeez. That we can grow... Um, like 20 of everything more or less okay so i want the bug head and i want the axe i'm gonna hang on to that until i'm working on friendship with robin i think that's why i was hanging on to it and we're gonna go shake some coconuts i can't bring a parcel for pam but i don't like her friendship will just decay i'm not really working on the friendships right now yeah we're gonna go shake some coconut trees and then we're gonna go buy a backpack and then we're gonna go to the mines because that's what i want to do so i'm gonna do it I need to stop trying to like worry about being super super efficient and just do kind of what I want to do because again this this playthrough like I don't know if I've said it but I'm like this playthrough is gonna be like I I don't even know I don't even know like I would say like seven years like a minimum seven years can I can I get these without oh wait I have tools on me never mind a coffee let's drink it um, considering my, my, my vanilla playthrough was, it took me four years, right? It took me like till the end of year three, winter eight, year three, I think. Sorry if that's spoilers, um, to get perfection on there. And that was just vanilla. This one adds in way more and I've added in 25% profit mark. Like it's, you know, <laughs> like it's this, this playthrough is probably going to go to like year 10 at least. I don't know, somewhere around there. We're going to be playing this, this save for a while. And I'm going to be doing a lot of decorating. So I'm just going to be stretching things out that way regardless. Yeah, if I get around like 20 coconuts a day, I'll be happy. Oh, a seaweed. That's awesome. Let's go shake this pile down here. This might be a good... Really? There we go. There's 20. Um, Yeah, this is going to be a long playthrough. That's for sure. So, if you're looking for a long haul, you found it. <laughs> um, and it'll be played over time. Like, I'm not going to binge play it like I did my uh, vanilla series. Because I don't want to, like, burn out and then never play it again either. I want to kind of respect my time. But my hope and my... I think, I think I'll be able to do it. My hope is to still be able to release... Um, uh, release brain just literally exited release one episode a week there we go that's what i was trying to say at least one episode a week if not more let's do five that's fine it looks kind of weird oops cheaty i know sorry okay so that's 10 20 plus 15 let's do another row here oh So I have 40. 
you know what? Actually, what I might do is shift this over so I can shift these over just so that they're still at space. Sorry, I'm all about the spaces. Crap, but actually, I don't know if I can do that because now the scarecrow might not be covering. Do you not cover? Oh, you do. Never mind. Okay. Okay. Let's go buy a backpack, buy 40 call uh, spinach seeds, spinach seeds, because that's good EXP. And then go to the mines. Oh, yeah. This will be good. Slow start. Like, it's going to really, like, this first year is just going to be very um, slow money-wise, I would say. Yay. Whoa, that animation was so fast. There we go. Oh, that's so awesome. We have a second backpack slot now. Oh. And I might switch to the other custom backpack framework. Because again, with just so much more like forage stuff around, like you need a bigger backpack. And I don't really want to have chests. I, I've mentioned this before. I'm not a big chess anywhere person because it just like the big game, the game becomes too boring for me. Like I just because then it's like you just spend all your time clicking through menus. So I'm not I'm not a big chess anywhere person, but I know it's a very useful mod for so many people. So oops, I missed one. There we go. I'm a spinach farmer. I'm a spinach farmer. Okay, let's go to... Why is... Huh? Probably because I hoed something up. Let's go to the mines. Let's do some minesy things. Let's try and get down five levels today. Do I even have a thumbnail save for this? Oh, it's still salmonberry season. I was not expecting that. I'm going to not pick up all this extra forage stuff because... Um... I don't want to use my inventory. <laughs> you can maybe get it on the way back. Ooh, except for this leak. I'm going to get this leak. Leaks are rare. Not so much with West Cinder's Hap, but they're still quite rare. I'm getting distracted by all the foragey things. Oh, some other things. I, I know, honestly, like I don't remember mentioning it, but I must have... What was that? Something was telling me. Oh, it, was, it tells me when there's trees. Um, was mentioning like doing like a multiplayer game. I I think that'll be so much fun. I still think that'll be so much fun. And I have no clue how to set that up. And I know the tricky thing is finding like folks that are available, like finding scheduling stuff. Um, oh, I put a mini shipping bin in here. Right, because I got one from the, this farm type. I'll put that in there for now. What floor have we gone down to? Yeah, 20. Okay, so we're going to try and get to 25, maybe 30 today. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, I think it would be really fun to do a multiplayer save with some people. Oh, nice. And I'd be fine with, like, vanilla or modded, honestly. Because, you know, I, I've obviously played both, so... <laughs> um, I think I favor the modded, but that's just because there's just more content to do. And especially multiplayer, like it'll just you'll just do things really quick. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. Coal. Where's the way out? Is there still is there like bugs that I need to kill? Is that why? I didn't go down. Is there a monster down here? Oh. What on earth? Uh oh, it's like not a super bad luck day. It's actually like a neutral positive. There we go. Are there doggies? What? No doggies. Mm, I hear a fly. There you are. Can you give me a ladder? The answer is no. Sad. Yeah, it feels good with this faster animation. Like, again, this is my compensation for 
um, not using animation cancelling because I am not a fan and have yeah, the other restrictions, as I've mentioned multiple times. <laughs> but who knows who's tuning in at what point. Um, yeah, I just use a mod instead of actually animation cancelling. Which has other perks to like a faster casino spin. <laughs> faster bus eventually when we unlock the bus in a year. Carrot seeds, nice. Hmm. I would now like a way down. Oh, there we go. We made it. Let's go and clean up our inventory a little bit. Um, oh, I can just put these three on right now. I put on one more. Am I putting geodes in here? I am. So Omnis can go in there. Those can go in there. And 540. Ooh, we might be able to get to um, level 30. We'll see. All right, I see how it is today. Hello. I was not expecting spending a whole hour on a uh, multiple of five level. What on earth? Literally right beside. Okay. Be like that sometimes, hey? Ooh, I want that copper. I was going to say, I was like, it'd be really awesome if a bug could give me a ladder. <laughs> I want this copper. Take all that bug meat. That'll be handy. Whoa, holy. Nice, and the ladder down too. I'm going to grab that quartz as well though. Okay, I'm just going to go. That was a lot of copper there. 29 copper so far. No lucky ladder from that bugaroo. Eat one more just in case. Oh, game? Weird. That was like a big stutter. Holy. That was weird. What time was that at? 9 p.m. What happened at 9 p.m. that caused my game to just like freak out? Go throw those on. Bring you home. I can't press down more, so we might just reset 20 for a little bit. Like maybe two or three resets. Yeah. Oh, there's a gem note over there. I'm going to go get it. For the EXP... Like the lucky chance that we get a diamond that will give a lot of EXP. Can I? I don't even know if I can get diamonds actually yet. There we go, and that's that's all that we can smelt for 
a while until we get lucky with coal again. Did I get a level up? I think I got a farming level up today. Okay, let's do... This will be our last reset and then we'll run home because we got a far way to go home. Oh, okay. I'm going to eat one of you because there's a lot of things in here. Way down, but we're not really focused on that. I do this look at that 80 exp from that one emerald harvest hey i know there's actually is that normal is there normally a just a geode like node so just like available i don't know i'm uh, looking good i can bring this home now though and i bring these and these and this yeah the rest of it can kind of live here for a little bit that's fine 12 copper bars from today. Whoa, it's so dark and like blue. Boom. Battle. Oh, I'm yawning. I'm so sorry. Oh, no, I'm stretching. Yawn and stretch. The combo. Was there some stuff? There was some stuff I wanted to grab on my way back, especially back here, I think. Yeah, like this horseradish and... Yeah, holy, our foraging level is gonna be maxed by fall. Not maxed, sorry. Level 10. It will never be maxed. I mean, it might. Who knows? And bus stop. I love these little fast travel things around the farm map. So fun. Oh. Those away. I'll put the carrot seeds in here too. Why not? And it's going to be raining tomorrow, so I'm not too worried about getting my watering can. Okay. Let's go to bed. I'm going to go check out the traveling. Ooh, nice. Crops worth 10% more. Which we'll still get rancher. I'm just going to choose one, right, arbitrarily. I think it'll always give you the choice. So even though we chose that one, it will give us, like, the, the coop master whatever when we get to level 10. As it just offers, like, the first option. But, again, we still get both. Nice. Yeah, we're gonna go check. Whoa, it's a spinach day. That's awesome. What you got in store for us? Oh, nice. Mom giving us some cookies. And Jody would like a cauliflower, which we are not gonna do this year. Because <laughs> I want to save that friendship for when we're actually working on friendship. Okay, so this is 10 here. Some more beans. Ooh, we'll actually be able to finish beans this year, though. Another 10 here. So it's 20. This is 30. How many is this? 1, 2, 5, 2, 3, 4, 5. 30 plus another 25. So 55. Okay. Let's go buy 55 spinach seeds. Um, Beans away. Is that 17 and 3? Yeah, so we have 20 beans right there. So we're done our beans. And I think we'll get a, at least one or two more harvests. I'm going to get a few more harvests out of that. Boom. Let's get some coconuts while we're here. My daily 20 coconuts. <laughs> it's like a daily like $1,000, which again is kind of breaking our progression a little bit but i'm okay with it because we still have to spend some time shaking the trees you know it's a good reason to see what beach forge we got as well
I'm trying to shake the tree, not talk to the stone. Scared me. I thought there was something happening with the tree for a second. That's why I like to say, oh, it's a really good luck day. So yeah, we're going to try and... Why am I blinking? Uh, we're going to try and press down into Mindsy Land a little bit more. Once we just plant a few more spinach. There we go. Oh, we got 21 today. Oh, it's not really. Okay, it's only around like 500 gold a day. I think that's a pretty like solid income for the amount of time that took. It's 9 a.m. Like that took like two hours roughly. I see that muscle. Oh, and there's a crate. Okay, if there wasn't the crate, I wouldn't come over here, but there's a crate. Oh, I didn't notice there was a... Okay, and broken CD as well. Sure. Do, 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 do. Oh, we got more of these fun things too. It's pretty lapis moon drops. Hello, what do you have? Grape, large goat milk. Very expensive. A quality sprinkler. Ooh. An apricot. See, like, it's not really worth buying any of this because we need, like, uh, uh, we need more than one. <laughs> the rare seed is cool. Oh, right. And then Pixie's Breath seeds. Whoa. And it takes, like, oh, cool. It takes, like, raisins and, like, oils and stuff. That's cool. A dark ale, a shallot, dill seeds, elderberry sapling. Why do I feel like these are, like, not. All this stuff is not. Right, it doesn't get affected by profit margin. Uh, chrysanthemum. Chrysanthemum. Plant and fall. Uh, spring or winter. It takes 30 days, so you have to plant this in winter at some point for that to actually grow if you're planting it outside. It takes 7 days to mature. That's cool. I like how there's some things in here. Like, what are you from? Forager. That's so cool how they take... Um like raisins <laughs> to be able to buy them so we're gonna need some grapes oops um do i want to just re actually no i have things to put into my beach chest okay that was fun now we're gonna go to pierre's and then we're gonna go back up to the mines what, uh, stuck on things you know, I'm just gonna which I don't know because there's still that stick there so it can still spawn some stuff but that's okay yeah there we go yeah, I feel like this one will be convenient to fix which we might actually be able to what is it again oh, oh. um two copper bars and 35 wood yeah so I might fix that one because I think that'd be nice to get to the beach a bit quicker and we have the copper bars, that's for sure. Oh right, I wanted to go check out that one that was like seemingly in the cliff. And you, yep. And I can put away that. So much back and forth. <laughs> Hi, Pierre. Hello once again, my pal. Can I buy... 55, I think that's what I said. Look at we're almost at 2,000 again. That's good. Yeah, I like this 500 a day from Coconuts. That's fun. And then that'll help us upgrade our tools sooner than later, too. <sighs> Sorry, I was getting a drink of water. Okay, let's plant these down. Yeah, I'm going to probably hold on to the strawberry. I'm going to hold on to a lot of crops just so I can, like, make seeds out of them. <laughs> Especially strawberries, right? Because I don't have to buy them from the egg festival again. Did I math that correctly? I did. Nice. 
Boom. All right. To the froze um the mines. Backwards. Might be some stuff to pick up on the way. No? Oh, a mushroom. Okay, that's like a fall foraging thing, right? Yeah, we'll pick that up. And a leak. We can just put that into our... I forgot that I had a chest up here. A few chests up here, so... It's interesting how these berry bushes aren't, like, burying. Maybe it's because it's chest and cinder sap. Like, it's too alpine up here. Oh, rogue salmon berry. <laughs> Oh, dandelion up there. That's okay. Okay, let's see if we can get to 40 today. I think that's quite ambitious, but we'll see. We'll see what damage we can do. What? Hello? What does that mean? Why is there a circle here? Cool! Whoa! Wait, these aren't giving any EXP. Whoa! This is a really cool foraging area. Oh, it gave a mossy seed. Right, I forgot we should shake. We could shake trees. Well, that's kind of we're getting that a little sooner than we were supposed to be. Oh, I like how this plays. Um, like wizard music. How often do... Uh, is that spawn in the wall? I want it. How often do things respawn in here? This is a cool area. Do 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 do. Are you anything? Can I break you? No. Whoa, what? What does that mean? Why is the tree giving like a... Oh, it's probably for um the... Uh, that's funny how like my furnace is now in the way. So let's just move it down. Okay, there we go. Um, for like the moss, whatever they're called, like the stumps. Oops. Oh, okay, that's okay. Okay, that's cool. Didn't know that that would be there, but that's cool. Um, all right, the doomed levels. Nice. Yeah, I think I'm just going to rip through these as fast as possible. The goal is to get in and then to get out. So as soon as we see a staircase, we're going to take it. Yay, level 4 mining. Give me a way down. I have to like run through every rock that I hit just to make sure if I can't see. It's real hard to see in this level. Nice. Uh, my inventory is looking okay, so I'm not going to resurface. Oh, freebie. Will you give me a ladder with your, you know, oh, but you give me an iron. First iron! Iron. Sorry, I feel like that's something that I say that with an accent. I don't know. Iron. 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 <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> iron. How, how do you guys say that? Like, is, is that just me? Y'all say that? Ooh, I can go get coal. We already have that dwarf scroll. What other one can we get right now? Like a yellow one, I think, right? Yay. I want the bug meat, though. One more level. You can do it. Come on, Nakoa. Can I bring this just in case? <laughs> 
Oh, do I still have that leprechaun? That's so funny. I still have the leprechaun hat on me. I forgot about that. Let's switch you. You know, I'm going to forget that I have the leprechaun hat still. Oh, 7.30. Game froze. That's so weird. The stutters are back. I think that means I have conflicting mods. Because I didn't have the stutters before. On like episode 1 and 2. So now I have something that's like... It takes a lot of brain power. Hmm. I wonder which mods are causing stuttering. Yay, the yellow dwarf scroll. Do we already have one? We might already have one, but that's awesome. It's awesome regardless. Yay. Oh, yay, and there's level 40. Do I have room for this? I do. Oh my gosh, that chest animation is so fast now. Bonk. And bonk, bonk, bonk. Bonk. Um, let's smelt this. Why not? Actually, can I make one more furnace? I can. Nice. Can. So then I'll complete that off a little bit. There we go. Alright. Um, 830. Uh, we can still, let's try and get to 45. Why not? Holy iron. It's going to take me like four hits though because I have a, a baby pickaxe. We'll eventually upgrade it. We're obviously not, you know, the most funded right now to make that feasible. Holy, yeah, these are actually like three hits. Jeez. Kind of want to upgrade my pickaxe a little bit. <laughs> I'm sorry, I feel exhausted. I wish you like could hit these big rocks and it'd give you like a 60% chance of finding a ladder under them or something, right? You, like put in the effort to break them so they get a little bit more rewarded. Rewarded. Oh my goodness, where is this? Good luck. Hello? I thought it was supposed to be like... Having an easy time getting down. Well, I don't think we're going to hit 45 today because I need to make sure I leave enough time to get back. Holy, the slime took six hits. It's a bat. So many monsters. One of you have to spawn a ladder. Really? Wow, okay. They can really only stay here until midnight. I think that's like the longest you can stay and still kind of make it home with like the expanded mines. Please, 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 please. I don't want to pass out either because that'd be expensive. Oh, yay. Ooh. Um, yep. And yep. Can I put on? I can. Put on four iron. Let's get out of here. Do I have... I don't think I put anything else in here. No, just the... Where was that leprechaun hat? <laughs> huh? There you are. Okay, I put that there so I can put it into the dresser. <laughs> oh, I'm stretching. 12, 10 a.m. That's scary. Run, Nicola, run. Mm. 
do 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 Ah, we're okay. It's 1 a.m. We're fine. Like the latest night we've had, though. Ah, no, I think there was another night we had kind of late, too. Oh, can I get you out of the way? And you? Why not? While we have our pickaxe on us. Let's go to the bus stop. gonna rain tomorrow so I'm just gonna keep these tools on me let's go to bed let's go to bed nice No, the rain is done tomorrow. Oh. Oh, yay. Hello, Nakoa. You see this raven here? <laughs> I found it sitting outside the entrance to your farm. I think its wing is injured. Poor little thing. I think it likes this place. Hey, um, I'm sure it would won't eat your crops if you give it lots of love. What do you think? Will you adopt this raven? Yes. And we're not going to name it Yogi. We are going to name it. So I named this um in my vanilla playthrough in Aspen Farm. I named one of my void chickens his name. And I actually really liked it. So we're going to name it Erebus. Gave it a lot of thought. We're going to name it Erebus. That's a, that's a torch on it. That's why it has a glint on it. Well, little Erebus, you be a good birdie now. Okay? Yay. Eee, look at it flapping its wings. That's so cute. Where are you? Hi. I love you so much. Look at ah, that's so cool. We have a raven as a pet. I love it. I love it. Oh, we need it. Okay, it's was that 20? 20 spinach today. I might just like buy up a few more spinach so I don't have to keep going like back and forth. How much was it? 20? Like 35 wood or something? All oh, right, and I have this leprechaun hat. Let's ditch this leprechaun hat. There we go. Hey, it gives a lot of experience. Um, you can put those away. Let's go grab our daily coconut haul. <sighs> go visit Pierre's and then uh, let's just go back to the mines. I want to keep poking down in the mines a little bit. Hello, please fix this. Yes. Yay. Bang, 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 bang. Uh, what are you called? Tide pool. Okay, it's called, oh, right, because I turned off, I disabled. There's supposed to be some tide pools here, but I disabled them because tide pools irk me. <laughs> so, yeah, if you're playing with this farm type, you might have tide pools on it. If you didn't disable them yourselves. Nice, doing pretty good on the coconut harvest today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and eventually we won't be doing this because we'll, we'll, we'll just be getting money from like crops and animals and such. But until then, hello.
There we go. Hello. Here we go. I'm gonna pop these before they continue to spread everywhere. I swear I cleaned up over here though. I don't know. I'm not too worried about it. I'm actually a little worried about it. <laughs> To the bus stop. Put away these goodies. Yeah, looks good. Sell these by, um, I don't know. Let's buy like 60 spinach maybe. Because then we don't have to keep running back and forth. Every like day, really. Um, yeah, let's just sell them here. Why not? I'm going to buy 60 seeds. Whoops. Oh my gosh, pickaxing the ground because I was tabbed out. Erebus's bowl! Erebus has a bowl! That's so funny. <laughs> don't know if that makes sense for a raven, but maybe it does. I don't know. I'm not well versed in domesticated ravens. There, okay, we got 40 seeds to work with. Let's see if I remember that, but that'll be nice for like, yeah, down here soon. It's just something to work with. All right. Mine's ease. Do, 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 do. Huh? The stump is gone. Is it like magical where it like kind of appears and then disappears? Oh, interesting. Yeah, because wait, this one's gone too. Weird. Why were they here and then they weren't here? Sorry, I saw the leak, so I wanted to come this way. <laughs> That's kind of cool if they do just like magically appear and then are like, nope. Alright. Back at it. Yeah, because look at the little the little mushroom area here is gone too. Interesting. Put all this in here. And let's see if we can get to I mean for sure fifty today, but we'll see if we can get fifty five. I really just want to race to eighty to get the gold. That's what I'm trying to do if it's not <laughs> if it hasn't been obvious yet. Even with our basic pickaxe, I think that's fine. I do want this bat though, because I want its wings for lightning rods. Can you... It, it, why are you flying away? That bat was very confused. Oh, a shirt! A tunneler's jersey. It's a jersey for the Zuzu City Tunnelers. Who likes that? Is that do you go to with Shane? Is that who you go with? Oh nice level That turned too fast. Level three combat. And Topaz is the worst, gives you the least amount of experience. Sells for the least. It's a good gift though. I'm not gonna stick around for bats forever. Again, prioritizing just getting down. The 
sooner we can get access to quality sprinklers, the happier of a farmer I will be. Aquamarine gives a decent amount of experience. I didn't see how much I gave. I said that and then immediately just didn't pay attention. Dusty's everywhere. Dusty's galore. the compendium we don't oh is this is this our first book this is our first book the compendium nice which in case you haven't seen this monsters have a small chance to double double their drop to loot we got our first book yay boots boots you received the tundra boots which goes from one defense and one immunity to two defense and one immunity Excellent. Let's clean up our inventory a little bit. Whoops, you don't belong in here. Now let's see if we can get to 55. I think we can. It's 5 p.m. I think we'll be okay. Felt obligated to destroy that rock because I committed that much already. <laughs> Frozen tier. Probably need like 15 of those for the minecarts. Run and get our coal. Do I? I don't think I have easy coal. I don't like, or like where it like resets his bag every time we're here. I don't know if that mod works in 1.6 or if I even chose to use it. There's so many monsters on this floor. Ah, oh my gosh, what the heck? So funny seeing that because we're going to need like a bunch of like solar and dusk essences too for the dark in this floor. What the heck? Why is it so dark? kill them on the this surface because then they have a chance of spawning a ladder or not that's fine it's so dark on this floor <laughs> hit the rocks in the middle I don't know why Oh, was that a monster up there? It was. You are preventing a staircase from spawning for me. Yikes. Here we go. Yeah, I think 55 will be our will be our jam. And I think I'm gonna like once I get to 55, I'm just gonna go home and go to bed. Don't feel too pressured to squeeze out every second of the day. I mean, unless we just get trapped on this floor forever, which could also happen. That's totally a option, you know. Possibility, not option. Of course, it's topaz. Silly topaz. Just like 16 experience. This thing gives 
12 and it's like half the amount of hits. I would like a way down. It's a really good luck day. My goodness. There we go. Oh, I want the rock though. Okay. And go and there we go. We made it to 55. Awesome. Let's clean up our inventory. Maybe smelt some stuff and then get out of here. Put you in there. Put these in here. Need a lot of those. Probably not until winter time, honestly, to be able to deal with all of those. Perfect. 18 coal. We're rich in coal. Oops, I have a... Uh, and then I want to bring... Yeah, I'll bring the boots. I'll bring the shirt. Yep. Run home. Oh gosh, what the heck? Marlon scared me. <laughs> I was like, ah! Stuck on something. Weave my way through everything over there. Yeah, I really am enjoying this farm map. I don't know. It feels like very natural, but it's big. I'm liking it. And like we, 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 we're not even like using it like at all, really. Um, you can go in there. Regular forage. Put iron bars in there. I'm gonna clean that up. There we go. Put these away because we're gonna need this for tomorrow. <laughs> Put away our clothes. And go to bed. Hi Erebus. I'm excited to see you outside tomorrow. Level 3 combat. Nice. Blink. It's a new day. Ooh, it's Queen of Sauce Day. Hello. We learned radish salad. And it's gonna rain the first episode or first day back. Ooh, first harvest of strawberries. Yay. Good morning, Erebus. Have some water, my pal. Look at you. Look at your animation. That looks so cool. <laughs> The walking, that's so cute. I'm like really lucking out on the rain. I was not expecting getting this much rain. actually been raining a lot um it's the springtime while i'm recording this in real life and it's been raining a lot here and it doesn't normally rain that much where i live so that's been really cool really a uh, rejuvenating experience Oops, I just watered the same spot three times. <laughs> My energy. I 
I think we might just spend the day chopping down some trees. Get some wood going. I need more water. There we go. Everything is watered, good to go. Store you away, let's grab you, and let's grab you. Also do some other random cleaning. But yeah, I just want to kind of ever so slightly clean up an area. Ooh, mixed seed one. Stuck on things. Oh, stuck on Erebus. Not on things. My raven. Okay, let's go and visit our hot spring, which I think we can... um. <laughs> just gets down. That was so cute. Visit tide pools and then loop up them this way. And it might be a bit quicker. A spring onion. Ooh, there's iron spawning here now. That's nice. Do a little bit of healing. <laughs> Let me like heal all the way up. Because we're going to do lots of chopping. There we go. I cut down this tree. It's kind of blocking this outdoor. Um, furnace area. So cool that decoration. I like it. And chop these down and break these. I don't. I don't think those stones are part of the quarry stones. So. Not gonna chop down the coconut trees for um, obvious reasons. <laughs> Oh, we should go check the traveling cart. Go and um, just top off my energy while I'm close by, and then yeah, we'll go traveling cart. See what's going on over there. I know that's a quarry rock, so that one will come back. That's okay. Use my tool in the water. Because I'm cheating how I'm getting in the water. Okay, yeah, let's go stick our nose into Traveling Merchant. And again, it's not like we can really um, afford stuff, but... Oh, I have these on me now, yay. Let's go get this one in the water too, actually, because it's going to frustrate me that's hanging out over here. There we go. See what you got in store. I mean, there might be something. I don't know. Hello. Um. Creeping Daisy. Yarrow. Not really. No, nothing. Okay. I wasn't really expecting much, especially with, like, again, the amount of income we have. we got to be a little bit more choosy. Alright, let's clean up some debris over here. Before this starts to get all crazy, too. 
Is there any hiding? I can't see if there's any hiding back here that's going to annoy me. That's okay. And let's clean up this debris here. I don't know, we can't get that grass because we don't have our scythe on us. It's kind of a bummer. Not the grass, the unmilled rice, sorry. There we go. A little bit of debris tidying. Don't have my yeah. I should have gotten my scythe. It's okay. Let's chop down this tree because it's kind of it's fine there actually, but I don't know. It irks me still. Oops. Start cleaning up into here because I think we're gonna want to put maybe a coop or something up here um, for like the short to medium term. We're gonna mainly live on this like island area right here is what I'm thinking. Pretty waterfalls. Oh, weird. Oh, maybe it'll add like a a ladder or something right there. I'm curious. Was that the same stuff? Like, did it need like the two? Or maybe it'll add like stairs. I don't know. Let's go and um, let's go get the things. Well, which one was that? Ladder. Shortcut ladder. Oh, it just needs sixty wood. Sure. Let's do that. That's fun. I like that. I have 60 wood on me. <laughs> Sorry, this stone is going to frustrate me and it's going to cause some issues down the road. And clean up these trees kind of growing everywhere. This is actually a nice shortcut. Yes. I like these unlockable bundles. They're fun. They add in just like a little bit more spice and it feels good like fixing up the farm, you know? Like, look at that. That's awesome. I like that. I'll just tidy up this area so we can see like the trees that we planted up here a bit better. Whoa, I gained one extra sap. Crazy. Clean up a bit more debris over here and then make our way back to our farm cave. What that horseradish. This will be a good like crop area over here. At least for the time being, right? Again, it's nothing set in stone. I'm gonna be moving a lot of stuff around, but Pool. Then maybe we'll shake the coconut, coconut trees. We haven't shaken the coconut trees yet. Shake them, shake them, ship them, and then cut down some trees right by the farmhouse. I like that. And then that will be the episode, I guess. Oh, okay, 8 p.m. Bye just cuts off you know what I still excuse me I still appreciate it just playing though that's probably good still appreciate it playing okay let's shake some trees make sure we don't have our axe on us for any mistakes that I'm bound to do
Aha. Hiding. Ooh, more coral. Excellent. Did not, was not expecting there to be an oyster there. That scared me. Nineteen, one more. There we go. Oh, I got a shirt from a tree. Cool. <laughs> um, oyster. There we go. Okay. I shook out a tree. Let's go. Oops, that's not where I wanted to go. I wanted to go down here. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to start cutting down these trees down here. Just going to ship those for a little bit of money for the day. It's like more profitable than growing crops. <laughs> okay, we need the farming EXP from growing the crops, so. Oh, there's like a trough right there, a water trough. So we're gonna expand our crops more, yeah, over here. It's not easy to fill watering can until we get some. Um, sprint class. I can't see anything. I can't see a darn thing. I have to sit up. <laughs> oh no, I couldn't be lazy. Okay, a couple more trees. 1210. I still have a lot of energy though. I kind of want to use the energy, I'm not going to lie. Yikes, cut down that tree into the fence. Oh, when I'm stuck on things. What am I? I can't even see what I'm stuck on. Go through the grass. Go where the flowers are. <laughs> Never mind. Still stuck on things. I see a pine tree that I might be able to get. Yes. Okay, yeah, let's just go to bed after this, actually. It's fine. We, like, healed up this energy. This is bonus energy regardless. I got another shirt. What the heck? So many shirts from trees. Who was messing around on this farm earlier and just kept on leaving their clothes in the trees? Oh, Erebus is on the bed. That's so cute. You're so cute, Erebus. All right. Let's go to bed. And guess what? That's an episode. Ooh, that's an episode. Oh, that feels good to be back. Yep. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for popping by for episode three. I appreciate you all. Um... It's fun just putzing around on the farm. It's fun playing early game again and just like, yeah, having like the novelty of it all. I really enjoy it. Um, that being said, I'm just going to keep this nice and short and sweet and say I will see you in the next episode in our last week of the first spring. But until then, I hope you're doing well. I hope you're enjoying your own star doing or whatever else you find yourself doing. And I will see you in the next episode. Until then, bye-bye for now.